Oh, I feel like there's something in my eye. Hi, good morning. I look a little crazy. My hair desperately needs to be washed, but I wanna record a Heatless Curls hair tutorial. So I'm waiting till tonight to wash it. And I spilled a little bit of water on myself just now while I was brushing my teeth. But it is Wednesday morning. I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands. I have a lax appointment and then I have to make a couple returns and I'm going to stop at Salon Centric and exchange that curling iron. If you saw the last vlog, my curling iron that I use at the salon died after having it for many years and I replaced it with a different one and I tried it out last night and I just don't really love it. It's not the right size and I also just don't like the shape and like the design of it. So I wanna just exchange it for the one that I used to have. And hopefully there won't be any problem doing that because I still have the receipt and everything and I just bought it two days ago. And then I'm gonna come back here and work on more Vlogmas videos. Sunday morning, I am driving up to Pennsylvania. I'm gonna stay there for a couple of weeks with my family for Christmas. And I'm trying to get ahead on videos, especially for the hair tutorials because I don't really have a good place to film up there and I'd rather just do it here. And plus the day that I'm gonna be driving up, it's like a nine to 10 hour drive. So it's gonna be basically my entire day. And after doing a long drive like that, the last thing I'm gonna wanna do is pull out my computer and have to be editing. And even like the first day or two while I'm up there, I wanna be able to just like be in the moment with my family. So if I can have some videos, pre-made and scheduled before I leave that would take a lot of stress off of me and be very helpful so that's what I'm trying to do it's a little bit overwhelming because I really just have like today and tomorrow because then Friday and Saturday I'm pretty much working all day and I still want to clean my apartment because anytime I go out of town I always like to leave my place clean like i want all the laundry to be done i want the kitchen to be wiped down i want all the dishes clean because i just don't want like filth to be sitting there for two weeks you know and plus then it makes it easier when i get back home to just come home to a clean place and everything is done and i don't have to worry about getting caught up so i just feel like i have a lot to do over these next couple of days but we're gonna get through it. And it's gonna be such a rewarding feeling to get everything done and then just be able to go up to Pennsylvania. And after Vlogmas is over, I'm gonna take at least the next like two weeks off. So I'll get a nice little break and it'll all be good. Anyway, didn't really do makeup. I just put on SPF, a little bit of under eye concealer. I feel like that is always like, even if I don't wanna put makeup on, but at least putting under eye concealer, it just, makes my face so much better like it makes me look so much more awake and like put together um and then i just did a little bit of that nyx brow glue clear brow gel and for my hair i'm just gonna pull it back in a low bun and i'm gonna put perfume because even if I'm leaving the house looking like an absolute bum I will still always put perfume on I will never leave the house without making sure that I smell good and this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Dossier I just put on the Ambery Saffron which is a replica of the Baccarat Rouge 540 but it costs a fraction of the price so that's what Dossier does. They make luxurious fragrances more accessible and affordable by offering replicas of well-known brand name perfumes. You get the exact same quality, same scent, same lasting power. It just comes in simpler packaging with a different name. If there's a perfume that you love and Dossier has a replica of it, why would you not get it on there? You are gonna pay so much less money. For example, the Baccarat Rouge 540 originally retails for over $200, but the Dossier version is $49. Their perfume start at $29, and they also have colognes and unisex scents on there as well. They also now have home products, so they have reed diffusers, which I've had this one for a couple of months now, and it's still halfway full. 
the ambery vanilla. This is a replica of the YSL Black Opium, and that used to be my signature scent, and this smells exactly like it. They also make candles. Their products also make for really good gifts. So if you're trying to figure out last minute gift ideas, I highly recommend Dossier. I will have a link in the description to their website. Go take a look. Even if you're trying out a brand new scent that you've never smelled in person before, they have a really great return policy, so you don't have to worry about that. But they have a really good sale going on right now. Like I said, check the description for that link. And thank you so much, Dossier, for continuing to work with me. It's been years now, and I truly love their products. You guys know this has been my signature go-to scent for a few years now. Now that I'm smelling good, showered, feeling fresh and clean. I got my clean girl aesthetic going on today. I am gonna head to my wax appointment and I will see you when I get back home. Got my original baby back. I checked the box on the other one. Cause remember in the last vlog I was saying that it seemed smaller, like I thought, I meant to get a one and a quarter inch, but I thought that I got the one inch on accident. So I was like, this is really small and even my friend whose hair I curled, she was like, yeah, these curls are definitely like tighter and smaller than usual. But the box said it was a one and a quarter and this is a one and a quarter and they are just, it's just different. And I love this curling iron cause it has the hole here to stick your finger. Cause when I'm curling people's hair, I, I like to be able to hold up here and I love resting my finger in there cause it just makes it so much more secure and I feel like I can work so so much faster and they had another one in there from the same brand that just looked different and it was all black and like looked so sleek but I was like you know what I'm not even gonna risk it because I don't want to have to go back and exchange it again so I'm just gonna go with Old Faithful I've been using this curling iron for years and years and I love it it's what I'm used to. Plus I had a 40% off coupon. So I actually ended up getting this a little bit cheaper. I'm gonna head home now. I will see you in a bit. didn't vlog much yesterday. I was just like in the zone trying to get everything done and I would like clean a little bit then go and edit for a bit then go clean some more and I got a lot done so my bag is officially packed for Pennsylvania. My apartment is clean and I am all caught up on Vlogmas videos. I have a couple more that I'm gonna film later today, but they shouldn't take too long to do. But I wanna try the new Tartlet tubing mascara that I got earlier this week. It's like a fiber mascara, so it doesn't smudge or give you raccoon eyes throughout the day and then it slides off really easily with water. So it's never gonna stain your skin. And I use the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara that's like this. And I love it, I've been using it for months. But that one you can only order from the Thrive website. And then when I saw that Tarte came out with one that's like the same idea, I was like, oh, well that's convenient because I can just buy it at Ulta. So I just did one like thin coat, but look how long and separated my lashes look. I love that. And I have been using the Grande Lash Serum every single night on my lashes for the past, mm, how long has it been? I don't know, I showed you guys in a vlog. It's been at least a month now, I wanna say. So that's definitely been helping my lashes grow. But I wanna see how buildable this is. Cause that's what I really like about the Thrive Mascara. It's super buildable and I can make my lashes look like I have a classic set of lash extensions on. Okay. That looks good. 
I feel like it's not as buildable as the Thrive one because this one I feel like dries really, really fast. And then once it's dry, it just feels really stiff and it's hard to build up on top of that. Whereas the Thrive one I feel like stays wet longer so you can really like build it up like crazy. But I mean, my lashes look great. So I'm gonna see how this wears throughout the day. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to the salon. I have two clients today. I've done both of their hair before. And then after I am done with the salon, I'm gonna come back here, record the last two hair tutorials that I need for Vlogmas. Try to hopefully get both of those edited as well, depending on how tired I feel. We'll see. I recorded this heatless curls tutorial last night before bed. So I gotta go take this out and finish up the rest of that video, but I'll see you when I'm about to leave for the salon. <laughs> Here is my hair. It's cute and it came out right. Like this is the way it's supposed to come out. I just liked how it looked a lot better when my hair was longer. Like on the short hair, it's just, it's a little intense. I guess if I do a side part, I feel like I like that better, but I don't know, it's just not, it's not my vibe. So I am going to do a claw clip, call it a day. I was planning on washing my hair again tomorrow anyway, cause I wanna tone it and see if maybe one of my coworkers will give me a blowout. And I also am thinking about giving myself bangs. Not like full on, like, you know, traditional bangs, but like, like what I used to have, like a longer curtain bang. Actually, one of the videos that I'm gonna record tonight is a uh, how to cut your bangs tutorial. So I was gonna use a piece of hair extension to do that so I don't have to cut my real hair. And I'm gonna see how it looks on me. And then who knows, I might end up cutting my real hair. I don't know. I'm so back and forth about it. But I'm about to leave. I decided I'm gonna stop at Starbucks on my way because I have extra time and I could just use a shaken espresso. That sounds so good right now. And yeah, I could make it myself, I guess, technically. But I also wanna get my friend a gift card from there to include with her birthday gift. So I wanted to go there anyway. So I may as well get myself a coffee, but here's my outfit and don't mind all the craziness behind me i was washing my throw blankets here's the fit super comfy john mayer merch these pants are from target and then i'm wearing my new balance sneakers let's go i'll see you at the salon this client gets a full head of baby lights to blend her gray so i did that and then i toned her I do 10P, 10VV, and 10GI by Redken Shades EQ for her gloss. And this was her finished hair. Beautiful, blended, nice and bright. Such a pretty blonde. And then my second client, like I said, it had been almost a year. Last time she came to me was in February. So her hair was super grown out and she was long overdue for a haircut as well. So I did a full head of TZ lights alternating between slices and weaves. And then I toned her with 8GI and 9GB Redken Shades EQ. And this was her finished hair. I just got home and I am kicking myself. I knew I was forgetting something. I decided while I was at work, I was asking all my coworkers like, should I cut bangs? because I said how I was gonna do like a how to cut your bangs at home tutorial for Vlogmas, but I was gonna just use hair extensions and not actually cut my real hair. But then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I think it'll be cute. So I was all excited. I was like, yes, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna cut my hair, tone it, blow it out. And I forgot my shears at work. <laughs> Oh, uh, so annoying. My coworker that's there right now actually lives right next to me. So I could see if she doesn't mind grabbing them for me and then dropping them off. Cause she has to pass here to go home anyway. There was one more video that I wanted to film. So I actually am gonna do that really quick while I have this last like 15 minutes of 
natural daylight. So I'm gonna just do that at least. I'll check in a little bit later. That was literally perfect timing. I could literally see the sun setting as I was wrapping up the video. Anyway, I am going to heat up some food. Yesterday, I had made salmon with rice and broccoli. So I'm gonna eat that and do some editing. My coworker said she can drop my shears off for me, so I'm gonna cut my hair. It is now currently 8.30. I just got so much work done. I officially have one, two, three, four upcoming videos already uploaded, scheduled, filmed them, edited them, did the thumbnails, description. I feel amazing. <laughs> and I am in the process, well I just cut my bangs and I just recorded the tutorial for that but because my hair is curly and I have a bunch of product in it too so I'm not able to get the full effect so I want to wash it give myself a blowout and then film the end of that video but I figure I wanted to tone my hair too because it's starting to look pretty faded and I feel like you can see my natural ashy root a bit so it's time so I'm gonna do Redken Shades EQ 4 NCH. It's just a rich, dark, chocolatey brown. It's so beautiful. And I mix that with the Shades EQ processing solution, equal parts. And I'm just gonna do it. I hate doing it in the tub and then getting the color, like washing all down my body and staining my tub. It's annoying. So I'm gonna do it in the kitchen sink especially because I have like a hose faucet so it's a little bit more convenient so I'm gonna shampoo with the Paul Mitchell shampoo to clarifying shampoo I always like to do that before color so that it removes any buildup I'm gonna clip my hair up while it's processing and then we'll do some questions of the day <laughs> to do that when my hair is short. Oh, the mascara. <laughs> Speaking of which, I do feel like under my eyes looked a little bit dark. When I got home, I don't know. I mean, you guys saw the clips, so you tell me. I do feel like sometimes the Thrive one does that, but not usually. So I don't know. I definitely need to test it out some more. So I just kind of smush it into my hair. It spreads pretty well when you're putting it on wet hair. So I just lather it like a shampoo. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Actually, now that my hair's short, I don't even think I need to actually use a clip. I can just kind of do that. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, let me pull up some questions. So at the end of each Vlogmas vlog, I am answering questions that you guys leave me in the comments of the previous vlog. So if there's a question that you have for me that you would like me to feature and answer, in the next vlog we'll leave them down in the comments the first one i see says i'm also a hairstylist i'm three years in and i'm feeling burnt out and like i'm hitting a low point to the point that i just want to quit i was wondering how you've dealt with this feeling in the past i feel like i feel burnt out at least once a year minimum but it only got to the point where i was like wanting to quit mm, i would say there were like two times where i kind of considered it the first time was only a few months out of beauty school. I was just working in a really toxic salon. I have a story time all about it. I'll link it down below in case you missed it. It's a good one. But it was a terrible time there and I just felt like I wasn't growing. I, I was learning stuff, but at the same time, I didn't feel like I was getting the encouragement that I needed and 
I just felt like I was constantly doing stuff wrong and I was like am I not meant to be in this field but then I ended up changing salons and I went somewhere where she really valued education she valued me and wanted me to grow and get better and she helped me tremendously and I feel like I improved so much in such a short period of time so that was the first time and then the second time was when I moved down to North Carolina two years ago and I did end up taking a break I was feeling burnt out and I was at a point where I was like okay I'm in a new state now so now I have to rebuild a clientele reestablish myself in a brand new area I don't know if I have it in me and if I want to even do that it was just kind of overwhelming so I took a step back and I just did YouTube full-time for like 10 months and then I got to a point where I started to miss it again and I started by working the front desk in a salon first just to kind of like get my foot in the door see how I felt about it also feel out the clientele down here to see like okay do I even want to start doing hair again and then after a few months of that I was like okay I'm ready and I've been slowly taking clients more and more and now I'm at the point where I'm no longer doing the front desk I am just exclusively doing clients part-time you know in addition to YouTube I feel like I have fallen back in love with this industry all over again so maybe you just need a reset whether it's taking time off or maybe like changing it up go take some more classes you know something to re-inspire you or maybe where you're working is kind of a toxic environment so maybe it's time to look for a new salon or if you really feel like you just don't want to be in this field anymore that's fine too it's never too late to change career paths you know you nobody who says that you have to stay doing the same career for your whole entire life you can change it up as many times as you want whenever you want so that is my advice wishing you the best of luck though because that's a tough feeling do you wear an apron at work i just graduated cosmo school and i always wear one also do you wear gloves when foiling and toning i do but i notice a lot of people don't i never see you use a marcel iron do you like them i actually really do i think the curls are so pretty and even better than a wand um yeah i'm not a huge fan of wands but I don't use a Marcel iron anymore. I'm wondering, now that I think about it, I'm like, what happened to my Marcel? Because I had a Marcel iron when I was in cosmetology school and I can use one, but I just like using a regular spring iron. And that's just like what I'm so used to using now. So it's the fastest thing for me. I don't usually wear an apron unless I'm gonna be doing a color correction. I anticipate what appointments I have and then I will just dress accordingly so I know if I'm doing dark color on someone I will just wear all black that way if I get color on my clothes it's fine most of the time when I wear an apron I still manage to get color on my clothes somehow anyway so but if it's going to be like a messy project then yeah I will wear one and I don't wear gloves when I'm foiling ever because I feel like they would just get in my way like I I like being able to touch and I don't see a need to wear gloves because my hands are not touching product at all i will sometimes wear gloves when i'm toning if i have freshly done nails <laughs> and especially if i'm toning with a darker color and my nails are painted a light color but honestly i usually don't wear gloves because it just takes extra time to be trying to put them on and i don't like shampooing clients with gloves on i just like to be able to feel what i'm doing so i know it's not good and i know they teach you in school to always wear gloves anytime i'm doing permanent color really on somebody i will wear gloves but that's kind of the only time to be honest oh and speaking of nails if you could only wear one color on your nails for the rest of your life what would you choose probably like a milky white color like funny bunny by opi that's usually my go-to because i feel like it just looks really clean and fresh anyway i am gonna wrap up this vlog here so i'm sorry you are gonna have to stay tuned till the next one to see oh wait actually uh-oh now that i'm thinking about it the next vlog is actually gonna be when i'm driving up to pennsylvania so it's not gonna be a vlog it's gonna be a client horror story so you're gonna have to wait a few days until you get the hair reveal so i am sorry to do this to you but 
hey, it's how I know you will stick around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support throughout Vlogmas. I will be back tomorrow with a new hair tutorial and in two days with a client horror story. I'll see you then. Bye.